Welcome back to Africa 54. Here is what's trending. Retailers across the United States offered early Black Friday discounts to lure bag in hunters, but initial checks showed crowds in back and motor, uh, black, rather brick and motor stores were subdued even as online sales jammed. Shoppers were seen using Thanksgiving evening to scour for deals and filling their carts with merchandise. Now the rush on the night of the U.S. holiday a month before Christmas reflects the new no more in U.S. holiday the shopping which was traditionally kicked off uh, the next day black friday well next up a movie biopic of pope francis is hitting the big screen call me francis follows the son of an immigrant uh, of an italian immigrant family in buenos aires who is now at the helm of the roman catholic church the movie shows how in his youth francis was a member of the peronist movement but everything changes when his vocation uh, leads him to enter the uh, jesuit order at age 20. Call Me Francis is set to hit uh, cinemas in Italy on December the 3rd. Now, along with the bright colors of fall foliage, one of the highlights of fall in the Washington, D.C. area is the Great Falls Art Studios tour. Viewers Caroline Turner discovered a photographer who donates the proceeds of his book to a children's cancer program in Tanzania. It's a crisp fall day and the Great Falls Studios Art Tour is in full swing, representing over 100 artists who live or work in the community. State Gardens is a landscaping nursery which hosted several artists. The tour is unique in that artists are present to showcase their work and tour goers can mingle and learn from them. Creation Praises is an art company owned by Dee Leggett, who is a photographer and jewelry artisan who designs wearable art made with semi-precious beads. So this one is a combination of shells and beads and metal and ceramic. So putting them all together is kind of fun. Jewelry aficionados can discover and try on adornments with such a rainbow of colors they look striking with any fashions. Bob Schrader is retired and enjoys the fine art of photography. His exotic photos of African wildlife mesmerize local art lovers. Uh, we have lions, uh, Maasai warriors, baby foxes, lovebirds, um, and then just views of the Serengeti itself. Schrader has compiled his most striking African photos for his book titled The ABC's Africa's Beautiful Creatures a book to share with new learners. And that's the, the whole theory behind it, to share it with people, little children that are learning. You can see there's just a whole series of different pictures. Here are the cheetahs, but you can see the mothers there looking over them, teaching them how to hunt, and all the basics on how to be a cheetah. There are a lot of other pictures in here, different animals. Um, back here, the zebras, for example, here, and uh, the young zebra. But over here, you've got a group of zebras, and we drove up to them in a jeep, and they were a bit frightened. And what they do naturally is go into a defensive posture where it's a ring, and the heads are all facing out to see the enemy. All of the proceeds from the book go to Africa to fund a children's cancer program founded by his daughter, Dr. Christian Schrader. So it's sort of the, the animals from Africa helping the children in Africa, and it's a, a nice uh, story. Worldwide traveler James Dietrich now heads up the Great Falls artists. Art lovers are intrigued with the technique he employs to give his photos the look of a fine painting. A uh, major reason for that is the type of paper that I use to print on it. The paper is textured and it also gives the picture a softer look. Dietrich gave away some trade secrets on photographing the Great Falls moving water. So I use a neutral density uh, filter on, on my all my water pictures and that gives it that smooth flow because the neutral density filter makes the picture darker and it allows me to expose for a longer time and then that gives you the motion or the creamy effect of the water. The photo of the Lincoln Memorial was shot at night and that's about a half an hour after the sunset and there you have your again your beautiful blues and I like the sparkling the stars and the lights. That's in contrast to many of the photos which are usually shot at night or early morning and that allows you to get your deep saturations in the skies and it's really the best time of the day to shoot. And that's in the World War II Memorial is that 
it's just before dawn and there you can see all the bright oranges in the sky and it's just a unique time of the day. Another example of the blue saturation is the Bartholdi Fountain. One of my favorite areas to sh shoot photographs is the autumn season in the Virginia vineyards. The uh, picture of the sunflowers is just a fun picture. It's just a happy picture. I call it you and me. The fourth artist on exhibit is abstract expressionist Lori Bukwala, whose brilliant colored themes in acrylic dominated the pop-up studio. All artists on the tour can be found on the Great Falls Studios website. Carolyn Turner, Voice of America News.